Stone Cold in the truck. I'm back. Road Rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Road Squadron. It's been a while since I busted that out. Little little flashback flavor for you, okay? So today, let's talk about the fact that the Rise of Skywalker critically has plummeted to a fifty-two percent on the critics' approval rating for Rotten Tomatoes. But what's even funnier, it is eighteen percent below Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, for full disclosure, I like Solo, a Star Wars story. I do. I think it was an enjoyable Star Wars movie. It had some elements in it I didn't like. I thought it had a pretty rough last 20 minutes of the movie. But there were some things I enjoyed about Solo. I did. I liked Woody Harrelson as Beckett. Chewie was great. Um, Alden Ehrenreich. Let me keep it real. I think he I think he was gave a good performance. Okay. Uh, Lando, eh, everybody sort of gushed over Lando, and I thought he was, I thought Donald Glover was okay. I did. Uh, the movie suffered from the feeling of large galactic implications looming over the movie or a large galactic threat. It felt very small, okay? But, what it didn't do was really, 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 really mess up the lore. Yeah. Your name's Solo. I get it. it. It's clunky as hell. But the Rise of Skywalker took Rey, who is a actual Palpatine, and made her a Skywalker at the end. When in fact, no, you're not. You're a Palpatine. The bad guy won, by the way. Let's think about this for a moment. The Emperor said, strike me down and you will become blah, blah, blah. The bad guy won. Okay? A Palpatine won the end of a Skywalker saga. Let that wash around and cleanse your palate a little bit. All right? And and it made me furious. Okay? Uh, is it a better made movie technically than The Last Jedi as far as like editing and places to put scores and et cetera, et cetera? Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It is. A, and and there are some elements of JJ's retcon I appreciated. But look, you can't make a Palpatine a Skywalker at the end, and you can't bring Palpatine back without bringing Anakin back. That's my number one complaint. Okay, uh, you just said, "Hey, George Lucas, fuck you." I know you said he, uh, Anakin's the chosen one, but fuck you, fuck you, in a time when Star Wars did not need to give any fuck yous to the maker at all, right? Last thing you need to do is middle finger towards George Lucas in the current state of the Star Wars fandom, okay? Uh, a couple other things I appreciate about Solo. One, George approved of it, okay? It was originally... His idea to make a solo movie, it was one of the things he turned over to Lucasfilm was he he was in the works on a young Han Solo movie. And also, Ron Howard, who George is very close to, is the one that ultimately directed the movie, even though Lord and Miller originally had it uh, prior. Okay, so anything that I know that I believe that George supports... I'm going to take a hard look at. Okay. So that's just where I that's just where I stand with that. Um I get it Lucasfilm blah blah blah, but it's one of the reasons I appreciate The Mandalorian so much is that George seems to appreciate The Mandalorian so much. Okay. And Baby Yoda and all that's going on there. John Favreau, Dave Filoni. So, The Rise of Skywalker. You know, and I get it, the critics a lot of this critic score is the fact that they're pissed that J.J. retconned so much of The Last Jedi, their precious Ryan Johnson's, um, you know, ma critical masterpiece. That thing is still at like 90% on the Rotten Tomato. 90 or 91% critically. The Last Jedi. <laughs> 
if ever there was a joke to be made about critics and their social narratives being in movies and all this sort of thing and their agendas, The Last Jedi is still the shining light on the agenda on Rotten Tomatoes, the critic score. If ever there was any proof you needed to see, just look at The Last Jedi's critic score, and it tells you all you need to know about political agendas, about social narratives, and all that horse shit showing up in movies and knowing that's what the mainstream media is looking for. Peace them out. Till next time.